run stance. So the two-point stance, the diagram here, a few things that we talk about all the time as an O-line. One, we always want to play for powerful base. So we want to have our knees slightly pushed out. We want to have full cleats in the ground. We want our hands to be in an attack position. When I even say attack position, we're talking low, right around our waist, upper hip area. And the hands aren't always clasped together. Like sometimes you'll see guys here. I want the hands nice and relaxed. We talk about your, your butt. It's a tail or a third leg. And the term that I learned uh, when I was coaching down at FIU, and I know Coach Strollo is the guy that originated this, is gator legs. We want to play with short legs. And what that means is we want to be condensed. So the, the, the more that we are, are sunk down, the more that we are bending and are in a, a condensed, condensed stance like you can see here, the more powerful we are. And we talk about being rooted. We talk about full feet in the ground, holster hands, ready to attack. And then we have fun with it. You know, like we like to look at pictures of sumo guys, you know, see how they bend, see how they move. We watch videos of it. The kids love it. Um, okay, got a quick question. Yeah. Uh, Coach Freeman, see lots of John Stroll, meatballs and gator legs, six point punch, agility stomp sumo. Yes. Um, Coach Freeman, I've been very lucky. The, uh, the guy I work for at FIU, Coach Skrosky, um, and Coach Strollo coached together for many years. And so uh, they, I was taught the same, the same stuff. So Coach Strollo is a really good mentor of mine. So 100%. So we talk about being a rock. So if you look at these two pictures, again, Coach Strollo is the one who taught this. You look at these pictures, this tree, not condensed, not powerful, very easy to chop down, knock down. A rock, very hard to move a rock. So just little fun things that we talk about. Be condensed, be powerful. And then the gator legs, right? So again, all Coach Stroll, he was the one that originated this. He's 100% right. We talk about playing with great bend, eyes up, short legs, good demeanor, short steps. So when you watch a gator run, having lived in Florida and seen a few of these move around, Okay, it, it is short steps, it's powerful. We don't want a lot of air under our ground. We want to be rooted in the ground when we're making contact with guys. All right, so I've taken what I learned at FIU and then really kind of my time at Bryant. When I used to coach O-line, <coughs> excuse me, when I used to coach O-line, I used to always tell the O-line, we, we all do this. I would tell them, get lower, right? You got to play lower, you got, you got to. You know, and I used to use a shoot. I don't use a shoot anymore. I'm not telling guys that it's not a good piece of equipment or anything like that. I don't believe in using it um, because I think when you tell guys to play lower, they bend at the waist. They play with their hips up. Um, so they think they're lower. So, like, when you look at this picture, like, this would be an example. Like, to me, this is a bad stance. His hips are really high. He's, he's bending at the waist. You know, he, he's, he's hunched over, like he's, his hands are not in a good position. You know, in his mind, he's probably telling himself, I'm lower. This is a much better looking picture to me. His hips are more down. His hands are clasped together, which some guys are more comfortable with. I prefer they have a little bit of separation, but some guys are more comfortable with that. His eyes are up. He's able to access. He's got full feet rooted in the ground, good stagger. Tell him to condense, shore in the body, become more powerful. Powerful base, feet rooted, tail down. Just more examples of it. You can see here, condense, not play lower. Again, good picture, good bend here. Eyes are up. His butt is down. Good picture. Slight bend, it's going to happen. But he, he's in a good position. He's got good power angles. Here he's just hunched over. And then here he's hunched over. His eyes are down. His eyes are down. Okay. We want to be sitting in a chair. We want to be powerful. We want to be rooted. And we want to have our hands in great position, ready to attack. Now here's just more examples. I'm a big picture guy. I'm not a I'm not a word guy. I used to have an old line manual of hundreds of pictures, you know, hundreds of paragraphs of words and all that. And I've realized real quick, guys look at pictures, right? They see visual. They see guys with good hands, feet rooted. They see guys with eyes up, feet and hands in attack position. They like that more. 